Hi, my name is Jonathan Colby and I'm a National Geographic Explorer and we're here in Shenandoah National Park in Virginia, one of the world's greatest biodiversity hotspots for salamanders. And the reason I'm here talking to you today is to give you an update on my last salamander chytrid video from about a year ago. Salamander chytrid fungus, if you haven't heard about it, is this terrible pathogen which originated in Asia a very long time ago and recently spread to Europe through the pet trade and is now causing dramatic declines in their newts and salamanders. Here in the United States, um, there's been a lot of research over the past year and, and field surveys looking for this pathogen to see if it's here yet. It has not been found, fortunately. Hopefully that means it's not here. We still need to look a lot more. Um, but it is encouraging that so far we seem to have escaped this nasty outbreak. Um, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service has issued a partial trade ban by listing 201 species of salamanders as injurious because they could potentially introduce this pathogen to the United States. Um, so that is also very encouraging that we might be buying time um, to find out how can we protect our salamanders before this pathogen arrives because of that. I am also still running a citizen science project on a website called iNaturalist where I'm asking you, anyone from the public, when you go hiking, you go to the park, if you ever see a dead or dying salamander for unknown reasons, um, so something that wasn't obviously stepped on or hit by a car, please take a photograph and mark down when and where you saw it and upload it to my website called Saving Salamanders with Citizen Science. You can find a link to that page in the description to this video. And I am monitoring all those records and if anything unusual comes up, I am then notifying the local wildlife authorities um, to allow them an opportunity to respond and do some field surveys if they think that could be important. And with your help by doing that, you could greatly increase our chances of finding salamander chytrid fungus much more quickly than we could otherwise. And with any outbreak, time is of the essence. So by submitting these records, you could really be helping us save species from extinction. So please, um, you know, bookmark this page and I will continue to post some updates and hopefully you will be able to help us protect amphibians in the United States.